My name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Photoshop for Video. Today, I'm going to revisit one of my favorite commands, which is the Calculations command. This is a really useful way to generate an alpha channel or a selection mat based upon the color values within the image. We've shown this technique to you before in the past, but I wanted to revisit it and really try to make it faster and easier so more of you make it a part of your toolbox. Let's see how. Now, the calculations command is going to look at the individual color channels. So an easy thing to do here is to switch over to channels and click on this channels submenu and go to panel options. Let's make those thumbnails bigger so it's easier to see what's going on. Now, with each color channel, things are represented. You'll notice right now that the blue sky is represented here with a lot of white in it. That's because the blue in the sky is really quite present there. As we flip through, you'll see that the green channel doesn't have a lot of strong tones. It's represented throughout, but the red channel is very strong here in the red brick as this moves more towards white. So let's go ahead and play with this. What I'm going to try to do is combine the blue channel with the red channel to make an initial selection. Now, chances are the selection will not be perfect, but that's where your paintbrush will come in handy. Let's make an initial selection. I'll choose Image Calculations. Now, this comes up with the Calculations dialog box. What you want to do is take the two channels and combine them. We're going to take red and combine it with blue. And what I want to do is generally invert one of these channels. Now, when you do that, it's going to offer to you different blending modes. And which mode you use is really a matter of trial and error. So you'll just step through the list until you get a good, high contrast file. That's looking close. Let's see as we go through here. And that's looking really good, in fact. Let's remember Color Dodge and go through some of the others. And what we're trying to do is get a high contrast value. That's pretty good, too. The sky's getting dark. This is mostly getting light. And as we step through, we'll see different mixing modes. Looks to me like Overlay or Color Dodge are going to work well. I think Color Dodge is the best. We'll go ahead and click OK and tell it to create a new channel. Now that new channel is automatically named Alpha. And right now, it's a good initial selection. We've got some white, we've got some black. A simple levels adjustment will push this the rest of the way. Go ahead and press Command L with that alpha channel selected, and you get your input sliders. Pull the black slider in until the area that's supposed to get knocked out goes nice and clean. Generally, you'll move the slider just past this first rise. You could then play with the middle slider here to get rid of any sort of spill, and pull the white slider in. Notice in doing so, we've got a nice high contrast file including all the intricate details here with the fine tucked edges, the flag up top, and that's looking real good. Let's pull that black in a little more and click OK. Now this area down here is where the blue sky was reflecting in the windows. And in the case of this image, we don't want to knock that area out. So with the layer mask selected, or in this case with the alpha channel selected, we could just use our paintbrush tools to touch things up. There it is, and I'll get B for brush, right bracket, get a nice big brush, and just paint that out. There we go. We've got a clean alpha channel. If we wanted to turn that into a layer mask, just command click to load it, select the RGB channels and switch over to layers, make that a layer, and click the add layer mask button. There you have it. We've keyed it out perfectly. So there you go. This works great, much like a chroma key plugin where it's using the color values to pick up the color and generate a new mat. This, in fact, is the best way for creating mats that I know for most images. Now, it's not going to work on every image, but anytime you've got a decent contrast between the foreground and the background, especially where color is concerned, you should try calculations command. This will give you that accurate selection, generate a great alpha channel that you can then use with the image and save, or load the alpha channel as a selection, and add a layer mask. Either way, you're going to get great transparency. For Photoshop for Video, I'm Rich Harrington.
be sure to check out our resource blog over at photoshopforvideo.com and you'll find me over at creativecow.net in the Photoshop forum answering questions. Thanks again.